I'm Kelly O'Donnell, a presenter on City TV, and I've been out in Abu Dhabi with the women's team learning how to play football from the pros. So far, I've thrown myself into goalkeeping, attempted to fit into City's back four, and put my athleticism to the test at the heart of midfield. Today, though, as my documentary draws to a close, it's all about timing and pinpoint accuracy as I learn from some of the best strikers in the women's game. This is how to be a footballer. Lacing up for my last session of the camp, I found myself in the dressing room surrounded by four strikers at the peak of their game. England under-23 international Nikita Paris, Scottish international Jane Ross, Swedish international Kosovari Aslani, and England international and all-round worldy scorer Tony Duggan. I've been told it's all about putting your laces through it, so what marks out the best from the rest? I think in movement. People say pace, but I think if your movement's good, it doesn't matter how quick you are. You've got to be calm around the box. I know you're eager to score, and defenders will be defending 100 miles an hour. You've just got to relax and pick your spot. I think it's easy to say it now, but when you're out there and you want to just shoot, it, it's difficult. Sometimes I have to go for power, but we can work on both techniques and see what you're good at. A bit sad because today is my last session out here in Abu Dhabi. It's the striker session. Probably one that a lot of people think would be pretty easy, but actually there's a lot of skill and a lot of technique involved, so could be my toughest one yet. Right, to start with the first drill, we're going to pretend that I'm our wide players beat the full back and then they're going to cut it back to the edge of the box or they're going to cut it back in to buy the penalty spot. I'd say your main target area is between the pole and the post. If you can hit them areas, then they're the most difficult for the goalkeeper to reach. Finish. Which makes it look really easy. Just like your feet. Nice foot, and again. Now whip it. Use the momentum of the ball to push it out your foot. There you go, step on, can you finish? And again. So if you open your foot up, make contact with the ball, head over the ball, and just place it. Can you hit the first time? Yeah! That's the one. Yeah, nice. Yeah, your contact's much better, that's better. But then you need to think about your angles now because the keeper's going to save that because it's central. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, two in two. Yeah, it was more fluent, so I finished. She obviously took a little bit of time to get used to the balls we were putting in and adapting maybe her run and the timing and then the connection with the ball. But I think as she done more repetitions and um, yeah, got used to the drill, then she became a lot better and was eventually finding the corners. As with anything, like with finishing, it is all about repetition and the more you do it, the more, yeah, the better you get. I didn't really expect in four football sessions to be coming out like the female Ronaldo or something like that. But, you know, I gave it a go, threw myself into it. So at this point, I really wasn't doing too well, but I was determined to apply myself if only just to save face. I didn't tie it right because I was just too far, so then I had to. The timing of your run. Sometimes you just need to hold, hold, hold. Loving them corners now, aren't you? Yes! Watch your hat trick celebration! Well, apart from a good goal celebration, obviously, a striker also needs service. But when a teammate crosses the ball into the box, do they have the composure to finish? Our final drill for you is going to be finishing from crosses. So we're going to have a wide player out here who's going to put in a delivery and you're going to have your movement and then the timing of that run to meet the cross and finish into one of the corners. Okay. Sounds easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You just say that you have to do it fast because the defender's naturally facing this way and they're looking at the ball and they're trying to keep up with you. So if you just go in in front of them, you put pace on it, all you need to do is literally touch it and it'll go in. Yeah. Woo! Better, better, better though. Again though, because I'm, like, I'm thinking, if it's gone past me, I can't use that side of my foot. If the ball's already past, you have to go with outside of your foot. Whereas if you're maybe more a bit more open with your body, then it's just like... Go on, right across. Go on, go on, get onto it, go on. Yes, yeah! 
Feel better? Yeah, it felt better. Good timing, perfect angle of the body. Final challenge of the day, and with Tony by my side, she decided to raise the stakes. Could I get three out of five and end my time out in Abu Dhabi on a high? This is the pressure, so this defines whether you're a good player or a world-class player. Yeah, one, woo! <laughs> and with my confidence building, I was also yeah, starting oh, to speak I'm like a true lucky, striker lucky. as well. Too slow. Get the wingers told. <laughs> She's sliding the wingers. <laughs> Said it was too slow. Go on, Cal, go on, you're in. Go on, yeah. 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 Oh! That was good really though. Really good, yeah. One nice cross, one, you got it. Yeah! One more. If I don't end on a winner now, I'll be, I'll be fuming. I'll be fuming. Let's go. Go on then, Liz. Yeah! yeah. Woo! <laughs> Mission complete! So that's it. Uh, last session of my time out in Abu Dhabi is done. A bit sad really. It's gone very, very quickly. And a couple of dark days at the beginning when I was clearly just not fit enough <laughs> to be a player. I've learnt a lot. I've learnt at least a couple of basics. I'm still terrible at playing football and I can't play football, but my respect for the girls has just increased massively. Just knowing how fit they have to be, how technical they have to be, how skilled they have to be. You know, a lot of people think they can play women's football, but the reality is they definitely couldn't. Three saves, three yeah, saves! If it's taught me anything, it's that it's actually given me a bit of a passion for it. I've never been interested in playing it ever, but maybe that's because no one's really explained to me how, how you play it, the mechanics of playing it. I suppose I've got over the fear of failure in the sense that I had to do it, you know. <laughs> like I could just excuse myself out of the session. Um, I don't really have a sense of achievement as such because I don't think I was very good at anything. <laughs> but I'm pleased that I've done it. I'm pleased that I think I saved at least one goal, maybe got another shot on target. You know, there was a couple of things in each session that I was pretty pleased about. I'm definitely going to carry on. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Mission complete! Yeah, they really oh, work for each other. Yo. We'll start with the sprints first. So I'm going to test you at five metres. I kind of get the basic principles of where you're supposed to be. Then we'll and test why. the agility.